Cavalry is a great application for creating all kinds of video effects as well as still effects. Well, how to import a JPEG file or a PNG, etc. All you need to do, go to File, Import Assets, select that, and then select a folder. Now I'm just going to go for a folder that I've called Cavalry, and you can see now I've got some files. Now, if I import this, and this you will notice it's got a number in it, having a number in this seems to suggest to Cavalry that it's a sequence, and you may find there's a few issues with that. So click open, and when you've got that, you can drag this over here, and you can see you can add it there. You can't add it here, you need to add it here. Seems odd, but still. Once that's done, once you've got that, you can see you drag this off here and you'll notice you get this, which is not ideal. You think that's very strange. And that was my first thought. Well, what you can do, let's just remove it. Go to File, Import Assets. All you need to do is change the name. Just simply change it. Instead of using, obviously, Adobe Stock where it's got a number, go for, and I call this one Stretch. So click Open there. And then when you've got that, select that and then drag that over. And you can see your image there. Now, when you move this, it's there all the way through. And also, when you file and import assets, and of course you can bring in a few more than that, maybe go for another one, surprise. And again, you can drag this over and you can see you get that. Now, if you had a number there, it didn't seem to work. What happened was it seemed to just keep the same file image, whatever file you brought in. So now you actually get the images as you expect, and you can, of course, modify this, move this up and down, go over here, and you can drag this in, drag this in, and you can move them around. And then, of course, the image will change in the way that you really expect with, obviously, a video editor like this. I hope this has been useful. Please put in the comments below if you've had any other issues with bringing images in. Also, maybe with sequences of images, those sort of things, because it's great to build up a bit of information about how to import files and import them correctly, of course, and then use them within the application. Any questions, please let me know. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.